Okay, Assalamualaikum guys. Okay, so uh, today we go to application of first order differential equations. So the application, the second application is okay temperature problems where we go to Newton laws of Newton's law of cooling. Okay, so what is Newton? Uh, what is Newton's law of cooling? Okay, so before 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 the uh, before we go to Newton law of cooling. So we know, uh, we have to know the objective for our uh, lesson. Okay, so sh students should be able to solve application of first order ODE in, okay, Newton's law of cooling. Okay, so kita dah masuk gross problem dah, radioactive decay pun dah. Okay, so next, okay, so Newton's law of cooling. Okay, so Newton's law of cooling state state that uh, the time rate of change of the temperature of a body is proportional to the temperature difference between the body and the surrounding medium. So, dia kata uh, rate of change dia, dia proportional, berkadar langsung dengan difference, eh, uh, perbezaan antara uh, benda tu dengan medium uh, surrounding punya temperature. Okay, so let T be the temperature of the body and then T M ada M kecil kat sini K okay, be the temperature of the surrounding medium. Okay, then the rate of change is in temperature is given by okay, D T capital over D T equal to K T capital minus T M. Okay, where K is constant of proportionality. So, bila dia cakap proportional, sebenarnya bila dia kata rate of change, dt over dt kecil ni, okay, uh, proportional, okay, proportional to uh, t minus tm, ni yeah, eh, yang dia kata ni, uh, the time, okay, sampai sini. Bila proportional ni, kita nak tukar jadi uh, mathematical uh, equation, dia dapat macam ni lah. Kita, uh, ada, k is constant, proportional Proportionality, okay. Alright, so how to solve? Okay, sama se macam sebelum ni. Okay, this is the separable dif uh, separable differential equation. So, kita separate lah. Okay, so saya buat satu-satu eh. dt equal to k t minus tm. Okay, so then. Okay, letak t besar dekat t besar. T kecil tu letak dekat right hand side. So, it become 1 over T minus Tm D T besar equal to K D T kecil. Okay. And then, taking integrate both side. So, integrate left hand side, integrate right hand side. So, integrate left hand side become ln okay, T minus Tm. Okay. Equal to integrate right hand side become K T kecil plus C. Okay. Next. Okay, taking ln, taking ln pula, taking exponent both side. So, exponent ln t minus tm equal to exponent kt plus c. So, we can simplify exponent with ln. So, become t minus tm equal to exponent kt times exponent c. Okay, so we can write as c exponent kt. Where our C is equal to C exponent C. Okay, C besar ni. C besar equal to C exponent C kecil. Okay. So, we know that T minus Tm is equal to yang ni lah. So, yang ni yang kita nak guna. Okay, yang ni yang kita nak guna. Eh, ni rupak. Okay, yang ni kita nak guna. Okay, so... So, kita kena tentukan where our T, our Tm, okay. So, macam biasa nak cari C, nak cari K. Cari C, nak cari K. Right? Okay. So, we go to example. Okay, so, a bottle of soda pop at room temperature 72 uh, degree Fahrenheit, uh, F, okay, is placed in a refrigerator where the temperature is 44 degree F. Okay, after half an hour, the soda pop has cooled to 61 degree. What is the temperature? 
of the soda pop after another half hour? And how long does it take for the soda pop to cool to 50 degree F? Okay. So, uh, sama lah macam ni. Oh, uh, so, memang mula-mula kena buat dulu yang uh, Newton law of cooling tu. Okay. So, what is our Newton law of cooling tadi? Okay. dt over dt equal to k t minus tm. Alright. So, uh, separate kan. Okay, so 1 over t tolak tm dt equal to uh, k dt kecil. Integrate both side ikam k ln t minus tm equal to uh, k t plus c. And then we have t minus tm equal to exponent k t plus c. And the last one, t over tm equal to exponent c exponent. Okay. C exponent k t where our c is equal to exponent c. Okay. So step ni biasanya ada markah eh. So buatlah. Nak, nak senang buat. Okay, nak selamat buat. Okay, next. Nak buat apa? Let lah. So, what is, your, what is T? Okay, kita tahu T kecil is time kan? Okay, time in hours. Hmm, sebab apa time in hours? Nah, memang kat sini dia cakap pasal hours kan? Nah, ni hour. Okay, time in hours. Next, we have T besar tu apa? Temperature of benda tu. So, temperature apa dia? Uh, bottle of a bottle of soda pop okay and in degree f for height okay and then we have tm okay temperature of tempat tu kan okay temperature of uh, refrigerator lah okay uh. So, what is uh, temperature of bottle? So, bila bottle, bottle tu diletak dekat room temperature. So, inilah temperature dia. Okay, T besar tu 72 lah. Hmm, okay. So, we know that T, biasa kita cakap T not lah. Temperature tu, mula-mula uh, bottle tu diletak dekat tempat biasa. Okay. So, next nak buat apa? Okay, so apa yang dia bagi? So, given, given. When T is equal to 0, okay, our temperature 0 is equal to 72, okay. Masa uh, time kosong, okay, temperature of botol tu, uh, soda tu adalah 72. Kenapa? Sebab dia dekat dalam room temperature, okay. So, kita nak cari C, guna formula yang ni. Ni, formula ni eh. So, saya guna purple, okay. Uh, so, what is our TM? Uh, TM kita berapa? Uh, TM ni adalah 44. Okay, sebab apa? Is placed in refrigerator eh. Refrigerator tu nampak? Is 44 degree. Okay. So, saya tak kat sini lah. Uh, so, dia ni lah 44. Takut lupa. Takut tak perasan kan? Okay, so 44 degree F. Okay. So, Formula is T minus Tm equal to C exponent Kt. Okay. So, T is 72 minus 44 equal to C exponent 0 times K. Eh, ya ke? Betul lah kan? K times 0. Okay. So, become C lah. C is equal to 28. So, our new uh, equation become... T minus Tm equal to 28 exponent Kt. Right? Okay. Or else, boleh je letak terus Tm ni is 44. Okay. Sebab kita dah tahu pun temperature of uh, refrigerator tu berapa. Kan? Okay. So, what is the uh, what is the question? Okay. After half an hour's 
Eh, belum lagi lah. Ah, betul lah. After half an hour, the soda pop has cooled to 61 degree uh, F. Okay. So, dia kata selepas setengah jam. So, T tu must be in hours eh. Ha, so, setengah jam berapa? 0.5 ataupun 1 over 2 hours. So, bolehlah buat T equal to. Okay. Uh, when T equal to uh, 0.5 ataupun 1, 1 over 2. Boleh buat mana-mana. Okay. So, saya buat 0.5 lah. 0.5. Okay, so T 0.5 if is equal to 61. Okay, so cuba kita solve. So we know that uh, T minus 44 equal to 28 exponent KT. KT is 61 minus 44 equal to 28 exponent uh, 0.5 T. Okay, so masuk dalam calculator. So, we get the value of K. So, berapa eh? Uh, sekejap, 28. So, ni 17. Okay, ni 17 sama dengan 28 exponent 0.5T. Sebut tadi. Okay, lagi. Hmm, bahagi. So, become ln. Okay. Uh, 0.6071 uh, equal to 0.5k so that k is equal to negative 0.9981 ok right so now we get our new uh, uh, formula ataupun our new equation t minus 44 equal to 28 Exponent negative 0.9981k. Eh, 81t. Okay, so this is our new uh, formula ataupun new equation. Okay, so next, what is the temperature of the soda pop after another half hours? So, okay, tu jadi, uh, so dia kata half hours kan? Tadi dah setengah jam, lepas tu dia tanya lagi setengah jam. So, t sama dengan... Satu jam lah, betul. So, satu jam eh. So, saya letak, saya guna colour merah eh. Untuk soalan tu. So, we kata T equal to 1. Okay. So, berapa uh, T besar ni sama dengan berapa? Macam tu. So, dia nak cari T besar 1 sama dengan Okay. 28 exponent negative 0.9981 times 1 minus 44. Ni kan tadi kan ni kan tolak 44. Oh, sekat sini tambah lah. Okay, tambah 44. So, substitute into the formula and then we substitute all this into our calculator and we get the value is 54.32 degree. Fahrenheit. Okay. So, ni jawapan untuk the first one lah. Next. How long? Berapa lama? So, dia nak cari T kat sini. Okay. T berapa? Okay. Uh, it take for the soda pop to cool to 50 degree F. Okay. So, dia nak tahu T berapa. So, T sama dengan berapa bila T besar sama dengan 50. Okay. Ni. So, berapa? Masuk dalam formula ni. Okay. So, 50 tolak 44 sama dengan 28 exponent negatif 0.9981T. Okay. So, nak cari T tu lah. Alright. So, then we get exponent. Okay. Ni tolak. And then bahagi dengan 28 dapat 0.2143 equal to exponent negative 0.9981T. Okay. So next ln both side. Okay. Bila dah ln both side dia dapat. Okay. Ln 0.2143 okay, equal to negative 0.9981T. T. Okay. Okay, sebab kan tak muat eh. So that masuk kalkulator dapatlah T sama dengan 
fast for hours. Okay, so this is the answer. Alright, boleh ya? So, okay, I just have one uh, example. Okay, so thank you for today from me. Okay, see you next uh, videos.